Hey YouTube, it's Raj, and today I'm going to be talking about Salmon in Minecraft and anything you need to know about them in the game. So, why don't we get started? So let's talk about Salmons in Minecraft. So the first thing you have to understand about Salmon are they are a passive mob, so they'll just kind of leave you alone if you swim by them. They spawn 12 to 32 blocks away. This is pretty normal for all aquatic mobs. So things like Pufferfish and also Cod also follow these rules, basically any aquatic mob. Uh, they spawn in groups of 3 to 5 in cold or frozen biomes, as well as their deep variant. The other biomes they spawn in are river and frozen rivers. When you kill them, they drop one raw salmon and one piece of bone meal 5% of the time, and 1 to 2 XP. They swim in schools up to about 6 and also they can swim up five, four to five blocks in waterfalls. And the other things to remember is obviously if they're not in water, they suffocate and they are susceptible to the impaling enchantment, which is a trident enchantment. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is the bucket thing. So if you're not familiar with, this applies with all fish, but if you wanna catch, uh, let's say a salmon and you wanna transport it somewhere, what you can do is you can fill a bucket of water. I don't know if this works underwater, but we're about to see. And as you saw, I have a bucket of salmon now. So if you want to transport salmon from their biomes to somewhere else, maybe say an aquarium, that is how you do it. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. So that was the salmon in Minecraft. I hope that was helpful for you guys and at least giving you a better idea of how they interact with the game and how they interact with the player. So you get a better idea of basically what they do and how they function in the game. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'm going to slowly be working through the other mobs and there'll be a, be a playlist of that. It may take me a very long time to get through all of the mobs. So be very patient with that. Uh, if you're interested, I also have been doing videos on things like enchantments and potions, so you can check out those videos. And if you like this video, please give me a like. If you want me to keep producing content, please give me a subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. I appreciate that. And stay classy, YouTube. This is Rod.